and it is right here right you see this arrow on this plane right here that's where GM puts the casting number for the block then you go take the casting number get the chart and it tells you all about the block Ten oh six six oh three six. That's the GM casting number right here. Ten oh six six oh three six. It's a GM Target Master block, and I looked it up, and it states it's a nineteen ninety four two or four volt main, and uh, made in Mexico. I had referred to it as a uh, two thousand five target motor it is not it is a 1994 and those target master engines were direct replacements for anything pre-roller even though it was made in 1994 this stamping is saying it is GM Mexico that am right there that's indicative to GM Mexico the rest of the numbers have meaning, but can't seem to find the stamping chart, not the casting number chart, the stamping chart. But I do know that that M right there signifies Mexico. We are going to go into the main cap stud kit in more depth when the crank gets buttoned up. But what I wanted you to know is you have to align hone the block when you switch from main bolts to main studs. And while we are talking about things that have to go to the machine shop before you can use them, when you put in new connecting rod bolts, which is a great idea, you have to have the rods resized at the machine shop before you can run them. We will get into all that later but I wanted to show you something. These are two blocks that are Gen 1's but take different oil pans. Notice the, the block kickouts. We are prepping this crankshaft that was made in Mexico for the target test motor. This is the original crank uh, that came with the crate motor, new. Uh, this crank is uh, yeah, it's an ongoing test that uh, we've chosen to use and we have to determine if it's a good choice or not. The first thing is we have to determine whether it is straight enough. We've lubed the number one and the number five journals on the crank. Even if it passes this straightness test, uh, it is still going to be Magnaflux. Check for straightness again. And if it still passes, then the journals will be micro polished at the machine shop. But we need it in about as stock and OEM condition as we can get it. With the main bearings in the block lubed, it's time to lay the crank in the block. Now we've got our dial, our mag dial sitting on number three main journal. Uh, the gauge is preloaded and the tolerance is no more than two thou let's let's see what we got
Okay, the gauge reads out of straight pretty darn good. A half of a ten thousandth of an inch, which is very good. I knew it would be good. This test target motor was making a noise originally, and he brought it over to see what the noise was. Well, I tore it down completely, and there wasn't a broken ring. Uh, the mains and the rods had some dirty oil go through them, but they would have easily gone another 50,000 miles. Well, anyway, he put a new motor in in the in the vehicle, and uh, he, he calls me and says it's making the same noise. Well, it was obvious to me at that point that it was probably the flex plate. And then I told him nothing was wrong with the motor he brought over. Huh. So we decided we just put it back together like it was. And uh, that's when we found the phlegmoid in the number five hole. And uh, then he, he decided that after that it, he was going to build it because either uh, we put a sleeve in it or, you know, if, if we're going to put a sleeve in it, uh, we might as well bore it. And uh, I have you know 30 over pistons for it and so if we're going to do that he said well let's let's just go a little hog wild on it you know as much as you can get hog wild on a target motor but he doesn't have any cylinder heads because you're not going to put target cylinder heads on it you know so the motor only had 50,000 miles on it so what we're probably going to do is use those Vortex cylinder heads I got, but it's up to him because those Vortex heads have issues. And they're going to need new seats. Um, you know, it, it might, it's looking like to fix them is going to be more than a new set. But that doesn't mean we won't fix them. We, don't, we just don't know. It's, it's on hold right now. But it looks like we're going to end up with a short block, freshly built, with no dancing partners. Effectively, you know, all dressed up with no place to go. And this motor here is almost ready to go to the machine shop, like next week. Uh, I want to do some more uh, measuring, though, and then it's time. It's going to go.